Yo, what's good, everybody? I hope y'all brought your baby oil today. Because nowhere's my glorious King LeBron. Everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's the go for real. One of the best Diddy disciples to ever do, you know what I'm saying? Right next to R. Kelly and Drake. All right, but on a real note, uh, today I brought to you this Varuna build. I went to the greatest depths of Diddy's dungeon to get this Varuna build. You know, still got a bit of lube my finger. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, grab your lube, oil up. And, uh, you know, let's get into it, you know what I'm saying? Pause. Pause. Yeah. Hey, yo. Yeah, that was act Nah, ho bro, that was gay as fuck. I'm not gonna... Hold on, hold on. I didn't mean, not mean that in a bad way. I, I, I support my gays, bro. I, I love y'all gay niggas, bro. I, I stand with the gays. Yeah, don't take that out of context, bro. I'm just... I'll, me, personally, I just swing in the other direction. I don't, I don't swing that way, bro. I'm, I'm just making this worse for myself, I'm not gonna and one last thing, if you're looking for timestamps, scroll down to the comment section. And then scroll back up, because I'm not giving you lazy-ass timestamps. Just watch the fucking video, man. Stop, stop being lazy, bro. Watch the video. I'm talking to you, Bartholomew. I need my watch time, bro. I'm trying to get paid. Well, I don't even get paid, but still. It's a matter of principle, bro. Watch the video. Alright, so a good place to start with her, I guess, is let's talk about her passive. So, if you make your eyes down to the- if you make your eyes, what? If you make your way to the bottom right of the screen, you see that purple thing with the wolf on it? Yeah, that's her passive. Pretty much, it, you just hold any one of your abilities and you do something else. So, pretty much, she has four wolves. And, depending on the one you hold down on the ability, it does something else. Uh, the first one does parkour velocity. So, like, if you're in a mission and you're trying to extract your point fast enough, like fast enough. If you're trying to get to extraction point as fast as possible, use that one. Um, her two gives status uh, status effect resistance. Probably her best one. I use that one the most. And then her three is heavy attack efficiency. I mean, it's all right. I'm not. I'm not using it. But to each their own. And then her fourth gives you an extra life. So if you're a pussy and you don't know how to keep yourself alive, you should definitely use that one. But if you subsume an ability off, like let's say you subsume her four off, you won't have that extra life. So just be careful on what like ability you subsume. All right, cool. So her first ability called Shroud of Dinar. So pretty much you just go invisible, and you get a little speed boost. But whenever you attack somebody, you're no longer invisible. Uh, it also gives a little crit damage and status chance buff, and it also inflicts bleed. So you're pretty much gonna be spamming that. All games. If you look at the gameplay, I'm spamming the fuck at that shit. So you're gonna be doing the same thing. But I'm gonna I'm teach you how to play Veruna like after I'm done explaining everything, and I got your bills down. So you can calm your tits and just keep watching the video, bro. And Veruna's second ability called Fangs of Rocks. Racks. Yeah, I'm not to say that shit. But um, so pretty much you just Mario jump to somebody and you inflict them with five random status effects, all applied with the max of ten stacks on them. And when you kill that enemy, it spreads the Ebola virus to nearby enemies. So, if you are doing the math, you're pretty much just nuking shit with coronavirus and Ebola. You, it's great. On it, it's, it's great, bro. All right, and her third ability, Lycath's Hunt. So, pretty much, um, all it really does is every time you get a melee kill, it drops a health orb, it gives a chance to drop a health orb, and every time you get a headshot, it gives a chance to drop energy orbs. And every time you kill an enemy that's inflicted with five or more status, it increases the duration. So pretty much, you cast your two, and then you kill them, and it increases the duration of light cast's hunt. So pretty much, if you actually know how to play the game, you should only have to cast your three one time. But uh, other than that, yeah, so there's the headshot, it gives you energy, and then the melee, it will give you health orbs. Uh, fuck doing headshots, we're going for melee. So we're going to be running equilibrium, so we're getting energy regardless. We don't have to worry about no damn headshots, bro. And Varuna's four, uh, Ulfren's Descent. So pretty much Varuna drops on all fours and prepares herself, as she hops from body to body, like a prostitute on a Saturday night. Uh, honestly, this is probably her worst ability out of her four, but it's still not that bad. You could make an entire build for it and do do pretty good. But, uh, me personally, I'm not dropping on all fours for no niggas, bro. Honestly, I was trying to think of an ability to uh, replace her four, but, like, 
I just really couldn't think of one. So if y'all got any abilities in mind in the comments that work good on Varuna, uh, yeah, go to the comments and let me know because I would love to make an updated version of this build with said ability. But like, honestly, I was really thinking like to put on Nourish because if you know me, I'm a certified Nourish Glazer. I put Nourish on fucking everything. But like, really, I don't even need it. Like her three, it, it drops more health orbs in my fucking credit score. So like, I mean, and you put that add on uh, equilibrium. That's that's your energy economy right there. You don't really need anything else. So there's really no point. So yeah, this is the build. I know, I know, it's awesome. Just say your praises for later. So first with Ormar, we got brief respite. Pretty much cast an ability, and it gives you like a little bit of shield back. So you're pretty much just shield getting all the time. So it's just an like extra layer of survivability. Good mod to have on not even just Varuna, pretty much really just anybody. So I think next uh, we can talk about the augment. So the augment, uh, Prey of Dinar, it's an augment for her 1, which also uh, synergizes with her 2. And pretty much what it does is you're, it's going to mark a enemy, and the enemy is going to be marked with the color of your uh, energy color. And pretty much it will even go through walls so like you can still see them. Pretty much you're going to catch your 2, jump to the enemy that's marked while your 1 is active, and it's going to spread your 2... Uh, with 150% more than it's already 150% yeah more than it uh, the base radius of what you already have so you want to build for some range so it can like spread a lot more I like butchered that entire sentence but I'm, I'm not remaking this I, I don't care that much it's, it's I'm not doing that shit but yeah so pretty much let's say my base radius is 13.3% uh, it's going to increase it by 150% or whatever the fuck that is. I'm not doing the math for you. Do the math yourself if you care that much. So, yeah. Uh, that's what's actually going to help you, like, nuke shit. Uh, Prey of Dinar. It's not needed, but it's really, really good to have. I suggest you get it. Yeah, this is Future Cloud, and when I'm editing the video, bro, I am genuinely sorry for what y'all just had to sit there and witness, bro. I sound like I'm off a of fucking perky when I was fucking saying that shit. Like, it's 1.30 a.m. when I'm recording this. Bro, just cut me some slack, man. Uh, we got Equilibrium, so... Whenever uh, you use your 3, it drops health orbs, and those health orbs give you energy. So, boom, that's your energy economy right there. You need anything else. Uh, we got Strength, because who doesn't want Strength? Duration. Uh, you don't really need Duration. I don't think it has Duration as a uh, light cast hunt, but that gives itself Duration every time you kill. The only other thing is uh, the 1... But like, so like, when when you're dying with the one, when you're dying and you put the one up and you can have some, but it doesn't really need it. So you could take continuity off if you really wanted to and like throw on something else, it doesn't really matter. But I just have it on because why not, you know what I'm saying? With the Arcanes, Arcane Fears more damage, who doesn't want more damage, you know what I'm saying? And then the other Arcane will augment it for more ability strength, but really you don't even need that. If you really want to, you can switch it off and you could go, uh... Arcane Strike for more attack speed. That's also a really good one to have. Gives you more DPS, but really, it doesn't matter. You could really honestly go get the war. Oh, yeah, and if y'all want a new friendly budget build, <laughs> yeah, y'all ain't thinking that shit, bro. It's an evil world we live in. All right, and now as to how to play her effectively. So pretty much, before you do anything else, you're going to want to activate your uh, passive. So pretty much activate your uh, your two. Um, status effect resistance, or or if you're a pussy, uh, you could get the extra life, bitch. But uh, after that, uh, you can activate your three, so you keep your life cast hunt on. And immediately after that, all you're gonna do is go invisible, find a marked enemy, hit your two, kill them, everything dies. That's that's pretty much it. And then you just keep uh, respamming your one and your two accordingly. It goes one, two. One, two, you know, just how, like you learn how to count in kindergarten. Yeah, that's the same shit, bro. All right, congrats on making it to the end of the video, but like, hold on, don't leave yet. Uh, real talk. Uh, I've been thinking, like, I know I'm making good at builds and all, but I thought it'd be like a real cool, like, community thing if y'all made the builds too, like, and I'll just showcase on the channel. So, like, if you have a good build that you really want, like, everybody to know about, uh, just DM me it on Instagram. I got my Instagram in the link in the description DM me on instagram i'll check it out i'll test it out i'll see if it's good 
if it's good, I'll uh, I'll showcase it on like its own video, and like I won't even take credit for it. Like I'll I'll let everybody know at the end of the video. Shit, it's not my build, bro. I'll even shout you out. I just want like I just want more builds to be out there because I'm not I'm not like perfect at making builds, but everybody has their own like unique thing when making builds. That's why it's good to communicate with people and so you can get other people's perspective on the build. So. Yeah, we're not just showcasing my build. I want to showcase everybody's build so we can really just find the best build out there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Without further ado, I guess. Uh, yep, yeah, deuces. See you in the next video.